hey guys welcome and welcome back to my channel what's to love and today i have my teddy bees pre-order haul that i was going to share with you all so if you notice i'm in a different location i'm in my bedroom i'm standing over this dresser this black dresser i got off of amazon and the reason i'm in my bedroom is because they are doing some type of construction outside of my home in the street and i can hear that beeping and all that other stuff and i did not want that to be like the background of my video so i hope the lighting is okay there goes bella but i hope the lighting is okay here's the business card the thank you card we're gonna really dive straight in and on the back it shows you um about with warmers to use less is more placement changing your scent and cool down so i'm gonna see that right here and we're gonna start with the souffles i got 24 tubs i think seven loaves and i don't know how many souffles but we're gonna see so we're just gonna jump right in the first one we have here is falling to christmas which is vanilla pumpkin buttered rum eggnog and butter cookies this is how this one looks very very pretty So yeah, this one to me, I definitely can pick up on that, that rum eggnog. And I do get that pumpkin. See, the name makes you think to melt it for Christmas, but it has fall notes. So I think this one will be like a good transition from fall to, um, you know, Christmas time. Yeah, this is like a yummy pumpkin eggnog. Really, really good. The next souffle I have is brown butter and praline, which says a blend of praline candy, vanilla cream, toasted pecans, melted butter, and the slightest warmth of cinnamon in the background. This one was poured October the 20th. So I've been hearing and watching people's hauls on this one, and they're saying they get like a soapy note. I made a post on um, Teddy B's page. Y'all got to melt this scent. This scent is so good. You definitely can pick up on that brown butter. Oh, it's so it's so yummy. Um, I don't get that soapy note or anything like that. Thank goodness. To me, this smells like pear and praline. Even though there's no pear notes in here, but when you melt this, that pear comes out. That praline candy note. And that butter. I don't get any cinnamon or anything like that. But on warm, this does transform. And it is a very beautiful scent. I still have a tub from the last ready to ship. That I've also melted some. So I'm very happy to have more of this one. Next, we have Harvest Cider and Birch. Which is plums, dark cherries, vanilla birch, pepper woods, and warm pomegranate cider. So this is how this one looks. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Oh, this is beautiful. Harvest Birch. I mean, Harvest Cider. I definitely can pick up on that vanilla birch. And I do pick up on that plum note. I'm not really getting a lot of cherries. Oh, this smells so good. It's like a birch pomegranate with the hints of plum. Very, very pretty. This will be a good one for the fall and winter. Next, we have Witches Be Crazy for Pistachio, which is birthday cake, pecan waffles, sugar cookie dough, a pinch of cinnamon, spiced vanilla, blended with pistachio ice cream, and notes of pistachio dream cake. Pour 1101. So I picked this one up um, just to try it. I'm not really a big pistachio lover. I can do it. But this one is really good. I actually get that cherry note that you get from pistachio blends and i do get the witches be crazy that pecan waffles oh this is yummy 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 i really like this one next is silver and gold which is sensual vanilla sparkling amber cashmere woods toasted marshmallows and pink lavender the glitter the decor is so beautiful um, Tiffany did a great job decorating this wax. Okay, silver and gold. I'm getting that woods, that cashmere woods. 
in that amber. This smells like a bedroom scent to me. Even with Cure Time, I don't see this being like a super powerhouse scent. It's just a pretty woodsy amber scent. That toasted marshmallow and vanilla gives it a sweetness. Let me see. Try to pop it up. And I get the, the lavender at the bottom. I don't get no lavender at the top. It's pretty though. It's not a favorite. It's not like I need more of this one, but it is a pretty scent. Next is Witches Be Crazy for Cupcakes at Tiffany's, which is her Witches Be Crazy blend um, with crispy toffee, hints of chocolate, sweet sugar, buttercream, and vanilla cake, which is her cupcakes at Tiffany's. The glitter is so pretty. Now, see, this one oh, is so good. This one I definitely can pick up on that cupcakes at Tiffany. It's strong, it's yummy, but I also get that birthday cake and pecan waffles. If you love um, cupcakes at Tiffany's, you will love this one. Her cupcakes at Tiffany's oil is so strong because that is what I smell first, and then I get the, um, which is be crazy. Sugar and chestnuts, wait a minute, sugar, chestnuts, and apple butter. Apple butter, brown sugar, toasted chestnuts, clove, and notes of spice. I only got a souffle because I was kind of skeptical about that clove note. I'm not like the biggest clove lover. This is so pretty. But, oh, man, this is so good. <laughs> I should have got this in a tub. Oh, my goodness. That apple butter is so yummy. This smells like something you can eat. I've never really had chestnuts a lot in wax, so I'm not kind of fun or know a lot about that scent. But I just get that apple butter and brown sugar. You get a hint of the spice in the background, but y'all, it's so good. It's so good. I watched Charity's haul, and she said this kind of reminds her of apple butter frosting from Scentsy. And I do have the K-Cut. And that scent, and it does kind of remind you of that. It's like a decadent, very sweet apple butter scent. Next is Jon Snow. This one is new to me, and it's Palo Santo flannel sheets, creamy vanilla, and mint. When I look at, when I see this scent, I think of Danny <laughs> because she has loved this scent for a long time now. Before I even got into like these type of scents, I would never probably pick this up on my own. But I'm trying to venture out um, and try new things. This is Jon Snow. And this scent is so pretty. Even if you're a bakery lover, I think you should try this. To me, it's like um, a very warm, cozy scent. You get a hint of that mint in the background. But you do get that flannel sheets. Flannel sheets to me... Um, is a scent that I can handle if it's blended right. Let me show you one more time. I love the gray color. Next, we have Dream State. This is so pretty, the labels. This is Sweet Lavender Pink Sugar Vanilla Marshmallow Cream. Look at that. This is not Sweet Lavender, though. This, to me, is like a herbal lavender and marshmallow. I'm not even getting a lot of pink sugar right now. I get lavender and marshmallow. The marshmallow just gives it like a creaminess, but it's not very sweet, honestly. But it's very pretty, and I will melt this probably in my bedroom. I do love lavender. So, next we have Catacomb of the Witch, which is dark plums, rich vanilla, black amber, bonfire bliss, and vanilla woods. This one was poured September 29th. I have a tub of this that I have not worn yet or melted. So pretty. Look at that glitter. Now, this one is a beautiful scent. It's plum. It's amber. You get the wood note from the vanilla woods. To me, it's like an upscale, you know, like grown-up plum scent. Very pretty. I think if you don't care for perfumes like scent, because this do kind of remind you of like a plum perfume. 
You might not like this one, but if you like those dark, sweet plum scents with the hints of that amber, you will like this one. So I just picked up another souffle because I didn't need large quantities of it. Modern Farmhouse, which is Tonka and Oud, Vanilla Birch, and Egyptian Amber, poured out over the seats. So this is how this one looks. I've always wanted to try this scent, even though the scent notes are not really my preference. Well, the Tonka and Oud. I don't really care for Tonka and Oud, but I love Vanilla Birch and I love Amber. So I figured why not give this one a try? And you do get that Tonka, though. You get that first. This is like a grown-up scent. <laughs> Amber, Birch, and Tonka. It almost smells like a, perf a cologne. Yeah, I'm getting like a cologne vibe. I've never tried it. I will melt it. I may try it in my bedroom because I don't want... I don't know if Tonka and Oud would give me like a headache. But I did want to try it in a souffle. Next, we have Carter, which is Smoky Woods, Campfire Marshmallows, White Birch, Palo Santo, Ice the Snow, and Vanilla. That's how this one looks. So, Carter. Carter is a beautiful scent. Carter reminds me... What is that scent from Teddy Bees? Is it Snow Queen? But I think Snow Queen has, like, balsam or fur or something. But it's, like, a cool, birchy woodsy scent that vanilla birch is already like um you know it has that that note that birch that that woodiness so this is a very like almost smoky scent but it's pretty yeah this is a nice one okay next we have the night before christmas which is flannel sheets warm cashmere and vanilla blended with the scent of christmas trees Y'all, this scent is so pretty. I love the flannel and cashmere here. I don't get Christmas trees. I mostly just get that flannel sheets and that cashmere. Let me try to pop it out. Okay, on the bottom, I get a hint of the Christmas trees. Oh, let's... This is my first time trying this one. I felt like I might like it, but I wanted to kind of stick with a souffle first. But I do like the night before Christmas. Pumpkin Woods. This is pumpkin spice, sandalwood, patchouli, tobacco, Palo Santo, coal, and the woods. That is beautiful. Wow. Yeah, this is nice. I'm not the biggest patchouli lover, but this is good and strong for it to be poured on the 23rd of October. I definitely can get that patchouli and tobacco and that spice from the pumpkin. But that pumpkin spice is not bakery. So this is not at all a bakery scent. This is a spice, like a, a spicy tobacco pumpkin patchouli scent it's kind of hard to explain yeah this kind of reminds me of a man in fall <laughs> wearing like a spice cologne or something yeah this is nice i don't think i need more than a souffle of it but i'm happy i picked up a souffle Right, morning cup of Christmas, vanilla chai, cranberry chutney, apple marmalade, hint of fresh pine. This will pour it October 30th. This one is gorgeous. I love the red and that those colors. It's so pretty. I've had this one before and I did enjoy it. I only had it in a souffle, so I picked up another one. I love cranberry chutney. I get cranberry apples. Get a hint of that chai. Let me see. I guess you get pine, but everything is kind of pushed to the bottom, like those last notes. Yeah, and I remember melting this, and it was very strong. So that's why I picked up another souffle. 
Last one is Kiss Me Goodnight, which is cozy cashmere blankets, warm, slightly woody notes mixed with vanilla hints of plum and hot tea and warm amber for 1013. This is beautiful. This I can see myself melting at night. This seems like a very common scent. The cashmere blankets. The wood note, the hot tea. This is so unique. Like, that's why I love Teddy Bees. And I do get the amber. So this to me is just very calming. Relaxing. Cashmere-ish, if that's the word. And I know it's not, y'all. Yeah. Smells like cashmere, though. Like a cashmere blanket. A real one that's been cleaned and washed. And it smells really good. I do like that one. Yeah, I had, this order was crazy, honestly. Two boxes. Two big boxes, and it weighed 25 pounds for both. The last one is Smoked Ginger Snap. Warm ginger, bread, spice, cardamom, charred wood, toasted pumpkin, and Tahitian vanilla. This was like a last one to pick up. I don't know really why I picked this one up. But it smells so good. I was kind of afraid of the cardamom, but honestly, I get gingerbread, that, that wood note, and a sweet Tahitian vanilla. This is actually nice. I don't know why I thought this was going to be something else, but it actually smells pretty good. So if you like gingerbread and you want to try something that's not sweet, because this is not a very sweet gingerbread scent, I would say try smoked ginger snaps. Okay, we're on to the tubs. I had to kind of move my camera around because my phone is going dead and I had to plug it up. So, we're still here. And the first one we have is cider cookies. Apple cake, donut, cinnamon, caramel, and sugar cookies. This one's poured October the 27th. Okay, that's how this one looks. Oh, this smells so good. Definitely sweet cake apple scent. If you like those sweet care, it almost smells like a yeah, it got caramel, of course. It almost smells like a caramel apple donut or something. Yeah, this smells like caramel apples and donuts. Really, really good, really sweet. I'm happy I picked up this one. Next, we have Wish a Witch Woods. <laughs> Fireside marshmallow, buttery sugar cookies, bonfire emeralds, and embers, and Palo Santo. So this is how this one looks. Love the little spider. So cute. Even though I don't like spiders, Wish a Witch Woods is beautiful. I love that it has the buttery sugar cookies in here. You definitely get that marshmallow fireside. You get the cookie note, the bonfire embers. I mean, it's just blended so well. I can't just pick out one scent note, honestly. This is beautiful. You like bakery and like smoky notes blended together. You would like that one. Next, we have a Christmas tree, which is balsam fir, frosted juniper, fresh sage, and whipped vanilla. Y'all know I love me some balsam. That's probably why this pre-order was so big for me because of all the tree notes. That's so pretty. Yeah, to me, this smells like a fresh, a real Christmas tree. Yeah, I don't get any bakery. I don't get any spice. It just smells like a fresh Christmas tree. Like you just cut down a real Christmas tree. That vanilla just gives it like a creaminess but this is Christmas for real like this is a Christmas tree <laughs> in wax so I'm happy I picked that one up next is crushed candy canes which is peppermint sweet sugar and candy canes I love me some peppermint I love candy canes so I had to grab this one and that's what it smells like 
I definitely get that sugar note. Um, it says sweet sugar is very sweet, like a sweet peppermint. It's just so fresh and so good. If you love peppermints, I think you will love Crush Candy Canes. I've had this one not on its own, but blended with the Christmas trees and cream. I'm going to be melting this with some of my peppermint candles from Bath & Body Works. So, Speaking of trees, we got strawberries, trees and cream, which is Christmas trees and cream and strawberry pound cake, BBW type. Pour 10, 24, 23. I think I got a tub and a loaf in this. But look at this, you guys. This is... Oh, oh my goodness. Okay. I get the strawberry pound cake. First. I can pick up that strawberry pound cake blended with that Christmas trees and cream. Which I think is like the tree note, waffle cone. This is bakery. Ugh, so good. Yeah, you would like this if you like strawberry pound cake. So I knew I would, even though I've never tried this before. But I knew I was going to love it. Next is Twisted Toasted Marshmallow Cookies, which is sugar cookie dough, toasted marshmallow, spiced caramel, and birthday cake. I'm trying to move a little faster, you guys. This is really good. I do get the caramel. This smells like a um, sugar cookie drizzled with caramel. Like a sweet spiced caramel. Let me see. Can I pop this one up? I'm trying to see do I get any birthday cake. But knowing me popping this out, I'm about, nah. Because as soon as I, oh, sorry. As soon as I started to pop it out, wet was getting everywhere. So we're not going to pop it out. And just know that it smells like a caramel sugar cookie. So if you like those type of notes, you will like that one. Next, we have Old Country Store, which is sweet peach preserve, hot apple pies, warm cinnamon, and a slight hint of pine. I love the look of this one. So pretty, so pretty. You know, I was most excited for this one because of that peach preserves. But I don't get it. I don't get any peach. I get apple pie or like a spicy apple cinnamon. And I'm not really picking up on the pine. I'm not going to take this out, though, because it could be at the bottom. But right now, I just get apple pie, like a cinnamon spicy apple pie. It's not that it don't smell good, but it does not smell like what I thought it would. This one was a favorite. Once I sat down and was able to smell everything, this is praline and woods. Toasted pecans, praline candy, spiced white cake blended with soft woods. Oh my God. Oh yeah. <laughs> this is so good. I love the toasted pecans in here. You can actually smell that, the sweet pecans and that praline candy. And the soft woods is just in the background. Oh, this is very sweet. I didn't think it was going to be that sweet, but it's very sweet. Yeah, this is really, really good. So there's praline and woods. Cozy Cookie Cake. I've had this one before. It's warm ice white cake, beet streets, marshmallow fireside, and signature sugar cookies. I got like really light performance the last time I tried it. I wanted to try it again and see with a little more cure time how this one would do. But it's so good. Beet streets, signature sugar cookies, and marshmallow fireside. This almost kind of reminds me, if you like Surfside Sweet Shop from Tater Bees, you probably would like Cozy Cookie Cake. I think the only difference is that Marshmallow Fireside, but to me, this smells similar to Surfside Sweet Shop. Oh, it's so good. 
It's so good. So I'm going to try this one again and see how it does for me this time around. Christmas trees and cream, fresh pine, vanilla waffle cone, and buttercream pour October the 8th. So I did pick up two tubs of this. And it just hit me dead in my face. That pine and waffle cone. This is a very creamy tree scent. It's not full-blown Christmas tree in your face, pine, or headache-inducing. This is a very just creamy, buttercream, pine scent. And it's so good. That buttercream is so decadent. Blended with the waffle cone. This is beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I love this scent. Even though I haven't had it on its own, I've had it with um, crushed candy cane. So that is a good one. Okay, now I'm back. I had to film a second part, but here we go. The next one we have is Mr. Claus, which is Cranberry Woods Bath and Body Works type Frosted Circus Cookies. Frosted Circus Sugar Cookies and Palo Santo. So this one came broken at first, but she did Tiffany. I contacted Tiffany and she resent out new lids with labels for this one and another one. I had two completely broken tubs, but I know it was not her fault. This is all on the shipping companies. I think UPS shipped my order. But anyway, this one right here. It's so beautiful. This one is so beautiful. I wasn't quite sure about the Cranberry Woods, but to me, this is kind of like a, a bakery. It's more bakery than wood in here. I'm not picking up a lot of Cranberry Woods. Let me see, can I pop it out? Okay, so at the bottom, I do get a little of that Cranberry Woods. But mostly I get that sugar cookie. The Palo Santo I can get in the background, but it's not like very strong or very woodsy. But this is a beautiful, beautiful one. And I'm happy I picked up Mr. Claus. I got two tubs of tricking and treating. One of them came broken and one didn't. Now, I did already change the tubs out and put the new labels on because I received the new ones today. Trickin' and Treatin' is Purple Sugar, which is Pink and Blue Sugar, Beach Treats, which is her Beach Nights, and Vanilla Cake Pops. This one is gorgeous. Okay, let me show it to you. This reminds me of a baby. <laughs> the color and... The scent, to be honest, for me, pink and blue sugar always kind of smells like a baby to me. I don't know why. This almost smells like, I don't know, I get the cake pops a little. But I guess I was thinking it was going to smell like something else. It does smell really good. It smells like a vanilla cake pop mixed with that pink and blue sugar, but I get like a baby vibe from this. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why I'm picking up like a baby, like a sweet baby scent or something. Um, but it is beautiful and I'm happy to have it. The next one is a Nutcracker Sweets, which is sugary shortbread cookies, yellow cake, brown sugar, and cinnamon butter. Oh, this, this one is beautiful beautiful color now this one i really really like i don't know what made me get a tub you will see later on when i talk about my lows a lot of them i could have got tubs in honestly i just kind of went overboard with this pre-order but i am so happy i got a tub in this this smells so edible definitely cakey i definitely can pick up on that yellow cake and to me, sometimes yellow cake is a scent that, um, for me and my nose, I don't pick up a lot of like vanilla cakes or yellow cakes, but in here, I definitely picked that up. 
and the brown sugar. This just smells like a really decadent cake type of scent with that brown sugar and cinnamon. Yeah, that is really, really nice. Next is a favorite of a lot of people and of me as well. And this is Surfside Sweet Shop, which is birthday cake, marshmallow cream, butter cookies, cake batter, and beach treats. So this one is definitely a favorite. This top is a little crack, but that's okay. Um, I'm going to put it in a poly bag. This is how it looks. So Surfside Sweet Shop. If you haven't ordered from Teddy Bees and you're going to order tomorrow, because this video is going up a little late, but if you're going to order tomorrow, the 25th for the pre-order, I would advise you to try this blend out. It's creamy. It's yummy. Her Beach Nights is very, like, a very creamy, sweet Beach Nights. And mixed with the birthday cake and a marshmallow cream. This is a good one. You have to try it and you have to warm this. It is so good on warm. So, I'm happy I was able to grab a tub in that one. Next is Witches Be Crazy for Eggnog, which is birthday cake, pecan waffles, sugar cookie dough, a pinch of cinnamon, spiced vanilla, blended with both vanilla eggnog and buttered rum eggnog. So, this one has two different types of eggnog mixed with her Witches Be Crazy. Oh, it smells so good. I can smell it as soon as I took the lid off. Okay. So this one, I pick up the eggnog before I pick up that Witches Be Crazy. That rum part of the butter rum eggnog, I can pick that up too. It has almost like a boozy note to it, but not like too strong or overpowering. And once I smell it, you know, continue to smell it, then I pick up on that Witches Be Crazy, which is like one of her top blends, that birthday cake, pecan waffles, sugar cookie, a very decadent bakery scent. This one is nice. This is nice. Next, we have Salty Lavender, and I picked this one up because of Natalie. I do enjoy lavender blends, and I remember seeing this one in the last ready to ship, but it sold out instantly, so I had to give it a try. This is Sweet Lavender, Salty Sea Air, and Toasted Marshmallow. I do love lavender, though. I'm not into, like, the herbal or medicinal lavenders, but I do love a sweet lavender mixed with some bakery. So, this is a really nice lavender. To me, this is sweet lavender. I, it's simple, but it smells really good. It's a lavender, salty sea air. So, it's like a salty lavender scent. And you do get a hint of that marshmallow. This is a good one if you like these types of scent. If you do not like lavender, I would not advise you to get it. But if you do enjoy lavender, you will like this one. This will be a good bedtime blend or a blend you want to melt when you just want to relax. So, salty lavender is a win, in my opinion. Next, we have cookies for Santa, which is a blend of frosted sugar cookies and milking cookies so this one i love the label look at that that just reminds me of christmas this is so pretty another one that's just decadent like i wish i could take a spoon and eat this y'all i just bought okay my son eats the raw cookie dough you know if you go into the grocery store and you get the is it a pillsbury it's just like the regular sugar cookie dough that you can buy and bake he eats it raw that is what this smells like this smells just like that sugar cookie dough from the grocery store before you bake your cookies yeah that's what i get i gotta see how it would do on warm i'm probably not gonna warm it no time soon because for one, I don't get throw from milk and cookies on its own. 
but this is blended with frosty sugar cookies so i'm hoping this one will perform well with a little cure time but overall it smells really good next we have spooky encounters which is sandalwood smoked oud spiced cherry black raspberries hints of patchouli and blackberry cotton candy so i was really really excited about this one i knew i wanted to get a tub look at that glitter do you guys see that it's like it has a texture to it oh my goodness that is so pretty this one is very unique very sweet i'm happy that it has a sweetness to it from that cotton candy and blackberry y'all know i love me some blackberry oh yes this is beautiful and i do care i do like cherry i'm not like obsessed with cherry scents but i knew with um tiffany she was gonna blend this like a god and she did yeah this is just a really nice sweet berry scent to me get the cherry i get the blackberry cotton candy i'm not really getting a lot of patchouli right now okay on the bottom mm -hmm. on the bottom i pick up that patchouli mm, this is really nice if you like those type of scents this smells like a very like dark kind of spooky berry scent really nice and i love the name spooky encounters so that is a win vanilla balsam and the perfect holiday which is fresh cut pine cinnamon sugar and toasted marshmallow blended with balsam fir frosted vanilla and snow capped pine needles so this one is layered oh, it smells good it's kind of spicy this one at the top if I'm not mistaken, it's the perfect Christmas dupe from Bath and Body Works. It says the perfect holiday because I'm getting that pine, cinnamon, and toasted marshmallow. Let me take it out. I think the bottom is the other, the other blend. That, yeah, the bottom I get the tree. I do like this. If you like tree scents, you will like this one. If you like cinnamon sugar, this is almost kind of red hot cinnamon, but it smells really good. Yeah, I cannot wait to melt this one and see how it performs with the two uh, blends melting together. Sugar, spice, and fireside. It says the smell of snickerdoodles and oatmeal cookies baking in a wood fire oven. That's how this one looks really pretty so this one was is not what i was expecting honestly this one i get that wood fire first it's like a smoky note um i'm picking up instantly i don't know about this one i don't really get a lot of snickerdoodles i don't get the oatmeal bacon cookies bacon i just get a smokiness um so I'm not quite sure about this one. Although it is very gorgeous, it does not smell like what I would thought it would. But it smells good. But you know, all of this can change on warm. It can transform to something very beautiful. So we know how that goes. Okay, here's my second Christmas trees and cream because I did get two tubs of this one. We have balsam and cashmere. This one is so good. Vanilla balsam, sugar cookies, cashmere cream, and vanilla birch. Love me some birch. I love Tiffany's cashmere blends. I feel like she does that scent so well. Oh, y'all, you know what this reminds me of? If you ever had her cookies and cashmere cake, I think that's what it's called. That is what this reminds me of. Yeah. That is, this smells exactly like cookies and cashmere cake. Only difference is that vanilla balsam, but I'm not picking that up like strongly. I mean, I can smell the balsam, but it's not as strong as some of the other blends that has the balsam in it. 
But this is beautiful. I love it. I love it. I love it. Last tub we have is peppermint cookies and cashmere. This label is gorgeous. Peppermint sugar cookies, sugar cookie dough, cashmere cream, and vanilla birch. So, look at this. I just had to take a moment of silence, y'all. This is so pretty. Mm. This is pretty. It's more pretty than sweets or bakery. Even though it has that sugar cookie dough, I'm getting the peppermint and cashmere. I can get a hint of that sugar cookie, but it's to me, it's in the background. It's beautiful though. I really, really like it. If you like peppermint scents and you do enjoy cashmere, the cashmere is not just screaming at me, but maybe that's because I like cashmere. But if you are a person that do not and cannot stand cashmere, you might not like this blend. But it's so pretty. Well done. That is beautiful. I really, really like that one. The first loaf I have here is Holiday. The scent of Reese hanging, cookies baking, winter garland in a warm fireplace. That took a lot to say. <laughs> but the reason why I got a loaf in this is because the last year when I first ordered from Tater Bees, like last year. Well, it wasn't my first time ordering, but my first Christmas pre-order. I missed out on scents like this because I used to be afraid of that tree or wreath or garland notes. But now... I'm past that, and I love me some holiday tree scents. So, this is so good. I see why it is a favorite, y'all. Look at that. That is so pretty. Yeah. I do pick up. Okay, without even looking at the scent notes or looking directly at these. It smells like a Christmas tree, right? But it smells like something else. It's like a lighter version of a Christmas tree scent. And I guess it's because of the other notes in here. But to me, it smells like if you had a real Christmas tree in your house and you walk in a house with a real Christmas tree, they don't burn any wax or candles, but you can smell their tree. That is what this smells like. I don't know about warm fireplace. I'm not getting a smoky note, but this is really beautiful. And I see why it's probably a favorite for the holidays. I also picked up a loaf in strawberry trees and cream. I did get a tub of this. I'm not going to go over it again because I've already talked about it, but it is beautiful. Yeah, and this one, I can smell the strawberry pound cake with the Christmas trees and cream, too. So, I will probably melt my tub first and just have this loaf for next year or even the year after that because Teddy Bees does better with more cure time. Next loaf we have is Christmas is Coming, which is warm gingerbread cookies, cinnamon sugar pastries, fluffy waffles covered in powdered sugar, hints of cedar and Fraser fir. This is how this one looks. Oh, this smells so good. Oh, now this one I really like. It's sweet. I'm not getting a lot of Fraser fur though. Let me pop it out. Hmm. Oh, let me show you the bottom. Look at that. You see the peppermint? So. I love that little detail at the bottom. Hmm. To me, I just get like a gingerbread cookie. What made me get this in a loaf is because I wanted to try gingerbread with Fraser fur. Anything with tree scents, I was going overboard with, and I already knew that. So I would have to see. Um, maybe this one needs a little more cure time. It smells really good to me, but I just don't pick up that tree note. I had to grab this one in a loaf because it jumped out my cart and I was so upset. <laughs> they are ready to ship. I had to get blueberry dump cake, fresh blueberries, crispy cake topping, hints of warm spice and vanilla. I love blueberry. Blueberry is another like fruit 
Oh my God, this smells so good. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> this scent is so good. I'm so happy I picked up a loaf. This smells like a yummy blueberry cake. I get the crispy cake and the fresh blueberries. Um, so good. Oh my word. Oh my word. Yes, I am ecstatic about blueberry dump cake, but that's only because I'm like obsessed with blueberry, blackberry, strawberry. I love all the berries. The only berries I'm not fond of is raspberry, and I don't know why, but I don't care for raspberries. It's a loaf is country Christmas, which is balsam fir, butter cookies, sweet spruce with a hint of cinnamon and clove. Oh, I can smell this one through the bag. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Sweet spruce, fur. Definitely get the cookie note. Mm. It's no way I can melt all of these this year or probably even next year for Christmas, but I just went overboard. I, I don't know, but I have no regrets. Okay, the next loaf is Christmas Pass which is holiday cinnamon, fallen leaves, crisp apple, crushed pine needles with hints of sweet balsam. Now, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. This is the only one I don't really care for. Yeah. Mm. I don't know. And I don't know what made me get this in a loaf. But it's not that it doesn't smell good. It's just too spicy for me. That holiday cinnamon is like strong. I get the apples, the fallen leaves. I get everything really. That pine needle is a little too strong for me too. And that's coming from a person that loves tree scents, but I don't know. I don't know, maybe it's just my nose. Maybe you got this and you fell in love with it. But to me, it's a little too strong on the cinnamon too many um to me this scent has too many overpowering notes yeah so but out of like 40 different scents <laughs> that's the only one i'm iffy about which is not bad because i really love everything the next one is christmas cookies which is assortment of baked cookies powdered sugar buttercream pine and warm spices oh so good Mm, let me show you. It got a little um, flaky stuff coming off of it, the wax, but I love this one. I love that powdered sugar in here. Yeah, see, this one I can do. This one is right up my alley with the powdered sugar and the buttercream. It's sweet. It's, um, it's like a creamy note. Mm, Christmas cookies. Really good name. I really, really like this one. So I'm happy about that one. And the last thing we got here is a sample, you guys. I got one sample and it's called Just Vanilla. And I do know this was not on the pre-order list. And to me, this smells like a sensual vanilla. Maybe, let me see, I can't pop it out. It smells like a vanilla and maybe like a cashmere. Yeah, it smells like it has something else in it. It's not bakery. It's more of a like a perfume vanilla. So I'm happy to have this sample because now I know what just vanilla will smell like. I will have to warm it first to see how this performs. So yes, that is it, you guys. I know this video was super long and I'm sorry about that, but I had so much wax and I was trying not to prolong and talk about one scent too long. Now, I know it took me a while to get this video out to you guys. I'm sorry about that. Um, with life and everything I have going on, y'all know I got a lot going on. So, just to get this video out feels good because I didn't think I was going to be able to record it. And I told you guys I would. Y'all know normally with Teddy Bees, I'm the first one to go on and push my haul out. But my order came later and then I just had a lot going on to where I could not just find an hour 
or an hour and a half to sit down to record. So I did it in two parts, but here we are. So yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. Thank you to all of my new subscribers and the ones who have been with me from the beginning. I think I'm at 300 subscribers. So thank you guys for that. It means a lot to me. I love you guys and I will talk to you on the next video.